Journalist Mehmet Berensu was arrested on March 2 after being detained by anti-terror police in Istanbul in an operation over fabricated CDs that were used as evidence in the Balyaz, Sledgehammer, coup plot case. Police detained Berensu late on March 1 after searching his home for almost 10 hours, seizing a number of documents. He was arrested in the afternoon, Doan News Agency reported. Berensu was accused of forming a criminal organization, as well as procuring, publicizing and then destroying documents related to the state's interests at home and abroad. Berensu, a reporter for Daily Tariff, broke the story of the Sledgehammer coup plot case by delivering a suitcase full of documents on the allegations to the Istanbul Chief Public Prosecutor's Office in January 2010. The suitcase included CDs, tapes, printed documents and handwritten notes as evidence for the coup case. Sledgehammer is an alleged military coup plot against the ruling Justice and Development Party, AKP, drafted in 2003. The military is alleged to have planned drastic measures to foment unrest in the country in order to remove the AKP from power. Those measures included bombing two major mosques in Istanbul, an assault on a military museum by people disguised as religious extremists and the raising of tension with Greece through an attack on a Turkish plane and blaming the incident on the Aegean neighbour. An Istanbul court had sentenced 331 of the 365 suspects to prison terms on September 21, 2012, while 34 suspects were acquitted. Three retired generals were convicted to life on charges of attempting to overthrow the government by force but the terms were later reduced to 20 years because of the incomplete attempt at staging a coup, the court said. Turkey's constitutional court delivered a landmark ruling in June 2014 deciding that the rights of a majority of the convicted suspects in the Sledgehammer coup plot case were violated concerning digital data and the defendants' testimonies. All 236 Balyaz suspects and convicts, including high-ranking generals, were released directly after the top court's ruling and there are currently no people under arrest in the case, while the retrial of the case began on November 3, 2014. A December 15, 2014, expert report has revealed that key pieces of evidence in the case were fabricated, stating that the notes on two CDs were written by a machine, not handwritten by General Suha Tanyiri as previously alleged. Another expert report dated February 17, revealed that more pieces of evidence in the case were fabricated. The team concludes that some additional files and folders were uploaded on hard disk number 5 after July 28, 2009, and that the dates of these files and folders are not up to date, according to a report by a team of experts that was read to the court.